Okay, so let's put your math skills to work to find the answer to the following question. And the question is, is do we have enough money to pay for these items? So the money that we have is a $20 bill. And what we want to buy is three items at $5.85 each and four items at $0.33 cents each. But also we have to um, account for a 6% sales tax on this purchase. Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as this definitely helps me out. Okay, so the answer here is obviously going to be uh, either yes or no. So feel free to guess. You know, maybe intuitively you might be saying, yeah, I think it might be enough, or no, it's not. And you, can, you know, you might want to try to do some quick mental calculations if you don't have access to a calculator. But uh, try to take one step beyond in terms of backing up your answer. So if you're going to answer yes or answer no, try to justify your conclusions. But let's go ahead and see if $20 will be enough to handle these transactions. Of course, we want these three items at this cost, these four items at this cost. But we also have to account for a 6% sales tax. So is this enough money to handle this transaction? Yes, indeed. Okay, so $20 will cover this purchase. Now, if you got this right, but you knew exactly why, because you had your calculator out, or you just did some quick arithmetic, well, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100%. And multiple stars, so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of doing basic arithmetic. And that's basically what we uh, need to do here is, uh, you know, just basic mathematics, right? So we're going to be doing some multiplication, and we also need to understand a thing or two about percent. So let's get into this right now. Of course, this is very practical um, you know, a very practical type of problem. And math is something that you definitely want to know to survive in the real world. And if you have trouble with any of these particular concepts, I'll give you some uh, suggestions how you can strengthen your math skills. But let's get into the problem. Okay, so here it is. Uh, we have $20 and we want to purchase three items at this cost, four items at this cost. And then we need to account for this sales tax. So Probably most of you could be like, oh, yeah, three items at this cost. Uh, that total right here, the subtotal would be three times $5.85. Right here, four items times 33 cents. We could just calculate how much this is going to be. Then we need to think about this sales tax, right? So uh, what we need to do here is obviously we're going to have to calculate the cost, right? So let's go ahead and do that right now. And again, just pretty much as I uh, indicated, we have three items at $5.85 each. So the cost of that is going to be three times $5.85. All right, so we're going to kind of just set this up. And this is why you definitely want to use a calculator. No need to kind of torture yourself by doing hand calculations. But if you want to do that, that's fine as well. Okay, how about four items at $0.33 cents each? Well, this might be a bit confusing for some of you, but we're going to go four times 0.33. So when we're dealing with uh, cents, okay, from a mathematical standpoint, the value of cents will be a decimal, um, a decimal. Okay, so in other words, when we're talking about anything less than a dollar, you're going to use a decimal. So uh, a quarter, for example, 25 cents is equal to the decimal 0.25. So here it's not going to be four times uh, 33. That would be 33 dollars. 33 cents is 0.33. Okay, so again, uh, this is a perfect um, problem to use our calculator. And of course, we'll get to these actual calculations in a second. But let's talk about the sales tax. So what do we do there? Well, we have to calculate 6% of the total. So we're going to have to find the total cost here, right? So this is how much you want to purchase. You go up to 
the cashier and the cashier is no problem. I'll give you, uh, uh, you know, uh, you can buy these items, but also we have to charge you sales tax. Yes, indeed. That's something that you may not want to purchase, but you get to get it anyways, right? We all have to pay tax. So 6% of the total, all right, is going to be equivalent to 0 0.06. Right? So this is basic uh, um, kind of percent concepts here. So to find a percent of a number, okay, changes the percent to a decimal. So 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06. So what we do to change a percent to a decimal, just a quick review here, 6% as a decimal is equal to 0 0.06. So if we go from here to here, uh, what we need to do is simply divide by 100 or move the decimal point uh, two places to the left, which is effectively the same thing as dividing by 100. So when you divide by 100, the decimal point gets scooted over two places to the left. So we want to um, we want to change our percent to a decimal and then multiply that decimal by the total. Okay, so 0 0.06 times the total. Now, of course, we don't have that total yet. We're going to have to get these uh, subtotals, add them up, and then we'll calculate the sales tax, and then we're going to have to calculate everything together, and then we'll see if we have enough money to handle this transaction. So let's go ahead and take the next step here, which, of course, is to just do these quick transactions uh, or uh, these quick calculations. So 3 times 585, you know, of course, you please use your calculator. No need to do this by hand. So 3 times 585 is 1755 or $17.55. And four times 33 cents is four times 0.33, which is a dollar 32. Okay, so now we're going to add these up to get our total cost. All right, so that well, this is our total cost without the tax. So if there was zero tax, right, all you'd have to pay is eighteen dollars and eighty-seven cents. But we have to account for that lovely thing called sales tax, which is going to be six percent of the total. And of course, we have the total here, 1887. So let's go ahead and calculate that now. But before we do, I would just love for you to go ahead, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I need your support to grow uh, this channel. Now, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. It's crazy. And when I started my YouTube channel, my growth kind of went like this, this, and this for many <laughs> or several years. And then it kind of took off like that when I really started putting in a lot more content. And right now, I'm up over 2,000 plus videos from basic math to advanced math. So I put a lot of um, dedication and effort into this channel because my goal is to help as many people as possible uh, learn mathematics. Okay, so if people can benefit from my teaching style, well, then that's what I am trying to do. I am trying to teach. And right now, I have like 515,000 subscribers, which is crazy, and millions and millions of views. It doesn't make a difference. Every single person uh, is important to me. Well, it does make a difference. But what I'm saying is, you know, when I ask you, I'm asking you personally to help me out to continue to grow because a lot of people, way more than 515,000 people, need help in mathematics in this entire world. Okay, so if you're going to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. And thank you for uh, letting me have my little commercial here. Now let's get back to this problem. Okay, so here is our calculation. So we have three items at $5.85, $5.85. So that cost is $17.55 for those three items. Then we have four items at $0.33, cents, so that's going to be four times 0 0.33. That's $1.32. So our subtotal here is $18.87. But of course, we have to uh, calculate the tax, which is going to be 6% of this, okay, $18.87. So we have 0 0.06 times $18.87. And I'm kind of rounding off here. So I want to call it, I'm going to call it a dollar and 13 cents. Okay, so if you said no, you don't have enough money. Well, you kind of uh, probably maybe, um, you know, uh, you know, round it up a bit here. But this is a pretty safe calculation, $1.13. So that is our sales tax. Okay, so what do we owe, uh, you know, the cashier? Well, we owe them this plus the tax. So let's go ahead and, and add this up and see if $20 will cover it. All right, so our total cost is going to be the cost of the items plus the tax. So the items were $18.87. The tax is $1.13. And when you add those up, it comes out to be $20. So yes, indeed, we are so happy. Yes, I have enough money with this $20 bills to pay. And of course, you'll get back no change.
But, uh, you know, this is practical mathematics. Now, some of you might be kind of laughing at this video, saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is so easy, so basic. Well, I'm glad that you think so, but other people out there, you know, might, you know, been a little rusty on this, or maybe they struggle a bit in math. Now, depending upon your level of math and maybe your interest in math or even your need to learn math, I have a couple of good uh, options for you, especially when it comes to basic mathematics. So there's two courses. They're very popular courses of mine. Uh, you can find both of those in the description uh, of this video. The first is my Math Foundations course, and the next is my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Okay, So these two courses are very popular. My Math Foundations course is a little mini uh, boot camp on basic mathematics, all the stuff that uh, most of us have uh, forgotten, you know, fractions, percent, place value, just order of operations, all the basic stuff. It's a three-chapter course, so if you just kind of like want to, you know, quickly, you know, refresh your, your foundational basic math skills, that's the perfect uh, little course there for you. Now, if you want to take it a step further, check out my math uh, skills rebuilder course. I start with the foundations, but then I go off. To, uh, then I go on to uh, additionally teach you a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, even some basic trigonometry, and even some basic probability and statistics. By the time you finish that course, and not cor all this stuff is self-paced, and uh, you know, there's it's very very comprehensive, way more than what I do on my YouTube channel. By the time you finish this course, you'll have a very strong math education maybe even stronger than uh, what you uh, learned originally in school, okay? So if you really want to, you know, strengthen your math skills and, you know, kind of learn uh, some uh, advanced mathematics, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.